<coughs> All right, I'm trying to get this. Um... Hey, man. Uh, hey, what, what are you doing over there? I'm sorry, what? What, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just setting the levels now. <laughs> yeah, hold on. This board is a piece of shit, by the way, just to be clear on that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wish I had, rather than spent $300, gone ahead and spent, seven, like twice, spent $700 once. Uh, it's like you never learned any lessons. Uh, you, sh- tell me about it. Have you heard from Harris or, or Rubio? I wanted to talk to you about that, but I'm glad you're the one who broached that subject, because uh, to be honest, um, to be honest, no, I haven't really discussed it with either one of them. I mean, we read what they posted on the actual site, but... <laughs> Dude, you know, I- how much did we luck up that they shot that photo before the fight? Oh my god, I was laughing my ass off that that was the case, but I have no idea. I mean, they obviously were, we sent out the invite, you know, presumably one of them will be here, at least hopefully. Fuck Neither that. one of them I, said they wouldn't. I just I just thought we were done with all this drama and bullshit. I, I guess, when, you know, whenever they show up, we'll just, we'll just start. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you this much. I will never look down at conspiracy theorists again because, like, this one particular time, they were totally right. <laughs> you know? One time. The one time, one, one time that they were actually, yeah, they count. nailed it. One time is that. Uh, it's kind of funny. Oh, well, what are you going to do? But, uh, yeah, anyway, actually, I think I'm all ready to go here. So let's go ahead and start drinking because everybody will be here in, like, 20 minutes and then oh, we'll yeah, get the show started. Car. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me turn my computer off. Hold on. My earphones were like cartoonishly <laughs> ringing off my head. <laughs> did, you, did you like that? How did the sound check? I kept going like check, 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 check. check. <laughs> and you were just setting up to hurt me. <laughs> you said, uh, yeah, <laughs> just to blow it out. It's yeah, always the ones you love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> I've been called a bastard way too much in the last week. <laughs> Enough about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all have. Yeah, we all have. <laughs> What are you guys talking about? Nobody's called me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been both so celebrated and damned in the same week, you know. And, and I, I think for good reason, to be fair. <laughs> but I, 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 I'm gonna say that I don't take any credit for it at all. Uh, I don't. It wasn't even my fault or my decision or anything. It was not. Please uh, stop sending him emails. <laughs> it was all. It was all him. I. I like to confess every beat and I plotted the whole thing. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it was he masterful. Like, he handed us scripts when we walked in. And yeah, I I don't appreciate you assholes pulling that shit without telling me first. Uh, <laughs> that, was some bullshit. that was some Stanley Kubrick shit. Like I wasn't uncomfortable until he started like just yelling at me to get me in character. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. But hey, everybody, welcome to the, the latest episode of the League of Extremely Ordinary Gentlemen. I am your host, Leon, and of course I have my co-pilot, Cyrus. Cyrus! Who runs the board and makes this thing all happen. And, wow, joining us this week is uh, John Rubio. Sex Celsior. <laughs> and Harris. Fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and all the way from TV Dudes... But though originally from Leon, <laughs> <laughs> he flew. It, it was round trip. I wasn't born here. As <laughs> Randy Lander, I thought you two guys hated each other. Is that not what I heard? <laughs> That's it's it's all an illusion. Oh, okay. It's, it's, <laughs> and Randy, you have come away from your day job running a store. Oh, you mean Rogues Gallery Comics and Games run Round Rock, Texas? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm, I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Austin Books and Comics. Is that the one? You over- go to hell, you die. <laughs> is that is Robert that the, is that the store over by uh, uh, Twitter.com slash John Rubio? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's right next to that. Ah, sweet. No, yes. no, it's, Walk- it's right next to. Hold on, let me check my OK Cupid profile. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, you know what, Cyrus? You, you don't want all my customers at your OK Cupid profile. <laughs> really not. Yeah, his Cupid profile is Meet Stunna 007. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen it. <laughs> 
what a, you know how if you were a woman, be honest, that would get you wet, right? Well, yeah, I mean, when I see it tattooed on your chest, <laughs> <laughs> why do so many questions that start with, "Hey, Rubio, if you were a woman, what would you think of this?" <laughs> it's just weird. It's just well, weird. Got the boobs they even asked him that at the DMV. It was weird. <laughs> if I was if I was a woman, I'd be a catch. Like seriously, how many chicks do you know who talk like me? That's true. <laughs> well, there's a couple of them, but uh... that's true. But there's like one. I'm dating her. <laughs> <laughs> well, th- th- I mean, okay, without dicks, because that 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 changes the the equation. We can have a whole conversation on whether or not it counts if those are women or men, or if it counts the same way when you're drunk. I yeah. mean <laughs> like if you don't know going in, then you can't be penalized, right? Ooh, penalized. penalized. <laughs> Yeah, if they uh, have a dick, all twelve. If, if they have a dick but they tuck and then they only offer to give you head. Does that count as gay? I don't no, know. No, I don't, no, 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 okay. no, no. Not if you're thinking in. of a woman at the same time. It's not gay. Okay. And you definitely won't be poonalized. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> but honestly, well, when you wake you up... You will be. <laughs> if you wake up in the morning and they're standing in front of the mirror going, Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> yeah. No, that point you really kind of have to admit to yourself. Well, you can't tell at that point they're standing in front of the mirror because you can't see from the bottom of the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just rub the lotion. I want to be quiet. <laughs> know, um, right? What do you want him to have a wrinkled outfit? <laughs> Don't be a cunt. <laughs> All right. So, so despite the fact that it sounds like our, our topic is your highness this week, uh, <laughs> we'll actually Doesn't be talking it? about superheroes on TV. But you know what? The the league never jumps right into the topic. Do we? Well, okay. I guess that's generally true. We never do. I um, mean, we could. We have in the past, but usually that's when we record out of order. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we usually go straight forward, straight to the clearest league. That's us. <laughs> you know what? I could mix it up sometimes. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we could just jump right. Nah, fuck it. Nah, fuck uh, it. Let's go. We, we got we to gotta go to the news. Yeah. We're going to start with the news? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, then we're going to f- start with the biggest story this week, because to be honest, this was a shitty news week, which is trailer trending. That's fine. We got yeah. trailer trending this week, which is the footage. The one really notable thing from WonderCon that we can talk about, I mean, other than the preview of the new Doctor Who season, which I have not watched because I don't like spoilers. Okay. <laughs> but the new WonderCon footage of Green Lantern, which right. is like a very extended long trailer, which has been polarizing for a lot of people. Has it? Cause, really? Because i got to be honest, I feel like I've been alone in the camp of, I don't like it. No, what's funny is that people who actually had no problem with the initial short trailer are a lot of the people who are telling me now that they don't like the way this looks, but totally, overwhelmingly, the other way, where people were like, no, this looks like shit, it's way too CG, like I was with the original Green, Green Lantern trailer, like... Uh, I'm not real happy. I'm like, wow, I'm real happy with this new extended trailer. Huh. Okay. I mean, for me, it always, it looked a little too CG before, and now what I see now looks way too CG. I'm like, you know what, if if this had a Pixar logo on it, I'd be okay with it. Okay, and my argument to you is this. This is, in, there's no way to do a live action real sets version in any context of a space opera in the sense that it's doing. Like the planet Oa with like every other character being a crazy looking alien. It has to be CG. And I, I think for that, I mean, I think you're being too unforgiving of that fact. And I think that like, it looks pretty goddamn good considering. I, I think you're wrong. I, I think I think Star Wars and Star Trek have pulled it off. I mean, sure, you get aliens who are more humanoid looking, but they look more practical and real. And to me, this all looks very sound stagey <laughs> and just very fake. I mean, it's like when I see it, I go like, well, just show me a cartoon instead. But and you guys, I, I the peanut the gallery, <laughs> you know, the, I sending opinion. I was a guy who was totally not down with the first trailer. I thought it looked terrible, and I thought the new footage looked pretty great. I think there's some rough CG, but I think they're probably still working on it. And I'm kind of okay with the CG on the big event movies at this point. I think it's kind of part part and parcel. So I'm not as excited as I am for, like, Cap or Thor, but I thought it was a pretty solid sizzle reel. I'm definitely more interested in actually going to see it. So Yeah, it made me a hell of a lot more confident in it, because before it looked like it was just going to be, like, Ryan Reynolds playing Ryan Reynolds in <laughs> The Ryan Reynolds Show as Green Lantern. But it... it <laughs> It looks a lot. It looks a lot better. The only problem I really have with the CG, uh, the only part of it that I can't really pass off as well, they're probably still rendering that shit, uh, is the mask. Yeah. yeah. Why Thank couldn't you. they have just glued a goddamn mask to him? Because okay. that's not awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I felt that way too. I was like, you know what? Separate from how I feel about everything else, I do not like the mask. I will and the way tell the you why look. that doesn't bug me. 
because the mask is a projection of the no, ray. No, no, no. I know that. And that's why it doesn't I know that. I, even, even knowing that, that I still don't like the look I'm of I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just had such a feeling of like, wow, if I had this ring, you make the mask look like I wanted to, it in, would not look like that. Let's watch the original Star Wars era and be like, are you serious? It's like a billion years ago with a higher technology than now and you can't make a better Leia hologram than that? <laughs> Fuck this movie. Fuck that. <laughs> CNN did better with that when they had the black eyed peas commenting on the election of 20 2008. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, for me, I, 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 gate. <laughs> I've never read a single Green Lantern story or been exposed to the character at all beyond some, you know, stupid art thing that I had to do for Comic Book Idol back in 2006. Okay, I'm, I'm going to play with my Android while you talk. Yeah, me. go for it. <laughs> uh, but, but watching this thing, I'm actually pretty excited for this movie. I mean, I, I otherwise wouldn't have any reason to care about it, but I think it looks pretty badass. Like, I'm... I'm I really want to see it. I mean, for anything for the spectacle. Yeah. I, I like that Nerds it crying. feels It feels a lot more like with Hal Jordan that you're actually seeing... You're really you're buying into Ryan Reynolds as the character of Hal Jordan, which you totally didn't in the earlier one. It did feel like, hey, it's just Ryan Reynolds, as you were saying, Harris. It's Ryan Reynolds playing Ryan Reynolds. And now you feel like you're actually watching Hal Jordan. I mean, the sequence where he actually is like understands what the oath is... You know, I mean, I, that, that gave me the great. that gave that me the chills great. watching that, and I did like even, that. even though <laughs> I was I was telling you about this, Leon, I was laughing because here's this college looking guy <laughs> sitting in his living room on his coffee table. <laughs> There's this big green bong looking thing, <laughs> and he's talking to it, and then all of a sudden his eyes get really white and green, and he's like, whoa. <laughs> Well, it's, <laughs> it's like, it's did funny. we skip a scene here? That's why you said it, because I, I had a friend who was a comic book dealer who was always trying to sell me uh, comic pots. Bo- comic book dealer, Yes, yes, but he was always like, he would, he would, try, he would talk to me about, like, hey, you want to buy some pot? I mean, some green lanterns from me? <laughs> wow. And I'm like, no, dude, I actually don't. <laughs> you know, it, was a, it is pretty helpful in Black as Night. That's true. There are times, because it, it's not that it, like, clears it away, you just don't care. You know what? <laughs> if if this was to turn out to be an awful movie, but at the end it turned out he was just high. Yeah, it would be my favorite movie in the whole world. Yeah, yeah, yeah that would be pretty entertaining. I gotta yeah, admit, you gotta admit the sixteen year old me and the forty one year old me completely <laughs> concur at the same time. <laughs> But uh, hey, don't it, they always though? I mean, no, like, no. Most of the time they don't agree anymore. <laughs> really, believe it or not, I can laugh at sixteen-year-old me, and he goes, "Whatever, <laughs> <laughs> old man." <laughs> uh, but but you know, I, I'm I'm commenting on just looking at a trailer that was bootlegged from a convention. So just yeah. keep that in mind before you send me a. Well, bunch I thought of it was an mail. official release. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, Apple, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I suppose yeah. it is. But yeah. I'm just saying, you know, it. it they, they might still be rendering it. Still don't know what the story's going to be like, how the dialogue will be. I, All those things could change how everybody feels about this. Well, it's Martin project. Campbell who took uh, James Bond. Yeah, no, he did Goldeneye. Twice. Yeah. Made it a amazing property when a- everyone absolutely. thought it was totally dead. You know? So I, I give him credit for taking something that no one thinks is dead and turning it into keeping it an amazing property. Hopefully I, so. I, I like the CG characters so far, the way they're designed. They're still announcing voice actors for the various aliens. That's I mean, weird. Like, what is it? Jeffrey Rush is... Yeah, he's Tomar uh, Ray. Tomar Ray. Yeah, I mean, they're still good. coming out with, like... I they really film it, but they haven't... playing Kilowog. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What was that? Michael Clark Duncan is who they were talking to, I thought? I oh, thought that's what I heard. Oh, they are going to get Bo to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Arlie no, because Hoover! no, because at some point his dialogue ends. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, somewhere um, in this, uh, this city, uh, Bo is talking. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> where's Al's like, but what we really need to do? No, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait! All I was saying was, sorry, no, I'm just kidding. I love uh, you, one thing I can say, I really hope the movie does well. Because there's a lot of cool merchandise shit that's coming out from it, and I want to buy it. And if the movie sucks, then I won't want to buy any of it. Yeah, I just want to preemptively say that every single one of you that goes out and gets a Green Lantern ring after this are fucking posers, and I was there first. And I would like, <laughs> to, I would like to postemptively say that thank you once again to God over my giant working yellow lantern. 